Good morning, guys. Welcome. Um, hope everybody's doing good this morning. Happy Saturday. I'm Jen, and we are going to do a what I'm doing today video. I'm still trying to get myself together. It's I'm tired. Um, had a rough night last night. Woke up a couple of times because I couldn't sleep, and then the second time I woke up, little dude was up. It was three o'clock in the morning. I couldn't figure out why. Um, something, uh, Athena coughed up a hairball, go figure, and she left it in the middle of the floor, so he cleaned it up, and then, um, yeah, then we all went back to bed, but it was a really, really, um, I just couldn't sleep. I don't, I'm not sure what the deal was. I tossed and turned. So, um, so I'm trying to keep myself awake today. I had the biggest cup of coffee so that I can, um, <clears throat> so I can uh, cross stitch because it's the 24 hours of cross stitch. And so I did pretty good yesterday. I, um, I got everything done yesterday I, that I needed to do. And today, um, and I, you know, I stitched for five hours and today I'm hoping um, I made a list for the, the kids, for Sky and Miranda to do some stuff for me. Because I want to sit and stitch all day. It would be nice, right? So, <clears throat> we are going to do that today. And I also, while I was in Zoom, I had myself on mute. Um, I watched, uh, went on Amazon Prime and went to BritBox and watched, um, a couple shows and what did I watch I watched line of duty and then I started watching inspector Morris so um, I'll finish that today or I work you know that'll be on today too I just gotta and then I've got to sit down this morning kind of set everything up over there by my chair because I need to have a spot for my phone for zoom <laughs> <coughs> So, yeah, I've got to figure that out today. That's going to be fun trying to figure all that out, but it is what it is. So, today, um, I'm not doing much of anything today because, um, like I said, I'm stitching. But um, I did spin the wheel, and I pulled up. It landed on Bountiful Bookshelf, and that's what it's going to look like when it's done. Now, I stitched all the way to here. So I decided to go over here and start over here and move towards this section. So I started working on this and I did 1,320 stitches. And there you go. I know it doesn't look like a lot, <laughs> but I did that. I, um, yeah. So I'm working on this section, which is all blue. And I think there's some gold, yellow, maybe gold in that. So that's where I'm at with that. And yeah, so I did that last night. I, I'm pretty proud of myself that I did 1300 stitches. And I stitched for five hours and 27 minutes. So I'm going to put that in my stitching planner in a minute. But today, um, let's see, I need to um, make a list of chores for the kids. Even though my daughter's an adult, I still call her a kid. Don't ask me why. Make a list. Um, And then 
hoping this weekend I've got to move stuff away away from the walls. This is this is crazy. Um, never had to do this before. We're having a normal um, pest control, you know, thing. They come every, you know, whatever to every month or so. And I don't know if this is a new company, but I have to move everything away from the walls. Yeah. <laughs> so you can imagine what my day is going to be like on um, Monday. So, yeah, I got to do that this week. So this weekend or try to anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, I did start, I did start, uh, pick up after, because I got off of Zoom last night around, I think, 8 o'clock. And I did listen to some of um, my book that I'm listening to. I do have another one that I need to start. It's called Dark Corner, and I don't have my tablet to tell you what that one is. Hold on. I didn't know I was going to talk about it today. Sorry. Um, I started listening to I, I already started it. Let me tell you something. This book is creepy. It's very creepy. Um, <laughs> let me tell you. But I, do, I wasn't going to listen. I wasn't going to read it at night. But oh my God, it's creepy as all get go. Um, it's, it's, it's creepy. Um, see if I can click on it and it's not gonna let me um, is there, uh, I want to be able to look at it without ha there we go um, this is it's a thriller and um, I've read books by this person before and um, it's by Megan Golden and um, yeah it's this is what it's about uh let's see um well hello hi she wanted to say hi this morning <laughs> she wanted to come say hi to everybody little dude take her little dude come get her She's right there. She's eating or whatever she's doing. Take her with you. Sorry about that. <laughs> she jumped up and little dude usually takes her in there while I'm recording. Because then that way she won't, you know. Okay. So, um, let's see. This is what it's about. Terrence Bailey is about to be released from prison for breaking and entering. Though investigators have long suspected him in the murders of six women. As his release date approaches, Bailey gets a surprise visit from Madison Logan, a hot young influencer with a huge social, me social media following. Hours later, Madison disappears and police suspect that she's been kidnapped or worse. Is Madison's disappearance connected to her visit to Bailey? And why was she visiting him in the first place? When they hit a wall in the investigation, the FBI reluctantly asks for Rachel Cross' help in finding the missing influencer. Madison seems to only exist on social media. She has no family, no friends, and other than her post, most people have seen her, never seen her. Who is she really? Using a fake Instagram account, Rachel goes undercover to Boss BuzzCon a popular influencer conference where she discovers a world of fierce rival rivalry that may have turned lethal. When police, police find the body of a woman with a tattoo of a snake eating its tail identical to a tattoo Rachel had seen on Bailey's hand, the FBI must consider a chilling possibility. Bailey has an accomplice on the outside and a dangerous obsession with influencers, including Rachel herself. Suddenly, the target of a monster hiding in plain sight. Rachel is forced to confront the very real dangers that lurk in the dark corners of the internet. It's creepy, okay? Um, it doesn't sound creepy, but 
like I said, I love thrillers, but this one's creepy. Um, it kind of gave me, it gave me the heebie-jeebies and I didn't want to read it at night, but, um, I did, I did, um, read some of it last night and let me tell you something. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it, it, believe me, it, it's crazy. So I am going to, um, I'm working on that one. Then, um, what is the new one I got? I got a new one yesterday from Net Gal this, this, These are from Net Galley. Um, let's see, my shelf. And I got a new one. It's called The Secret Hours. It's an audio book. Um, it's by Mick Heron. And let me see. It's due to be put out in September. So I'm going to be listening to this one also at some point today. Two years ago, uh, this is what it's about. Two years ago, a hostile prime minister launched the monochrome inquiry investigating historical overreaching by the British Secret Service. Monochrome's mission was to ferret out any hint of misconduct by an MI5 officer and allowed Griselda Fleet and Malcolm Kyle, the two civil servants seconded to the project, unfettered access to any and all confidential information in the service archives in order to do so. So this is a spy thriller. These are this is what I love to read. Um, mystery. I love to read thrillers, psychological thrillers, and these kind of thrillers. And I'm I can't wait to read to listen to this one. But this one's not due out in September. But anyway, okay, y'all don't need these. Yeah. So those are two things I need to you know start on. Okay. So now, um. What else? Um, I need to change. I need to change the melts, but I don't know if I'm going to do that right yet because I need to order um, a bulb for the warmer, and I can't do that until um. until my commission comes. I know, you notice I say that with a question. Um, oh, God. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now. But anyway, I need to, um, at some point, change the melt in my warmer and um, I'm gonna put it down here because I, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna do it because I don't have any more wax melts and I I mean I have some but I don't have enough so I need to get some more so but today is going to be um I'm going to focus on stitching being that it's you know the 24 hours of cross stitch so stitch on bountiful bookshelf all right so now Then, uh, now we're gonna go into the reading planner because I need to start thinking about, um, schedule for my blog. All right, so now I need to put this here for uh, dark corner. And I need to write that out, so I'll do that later. Um, I don't even know how far I am on Forgotten in Death. I didn't even... I didn't even put the, um, I don't even know if I have my Goodreads on here. And if I do, then I can look, but, um, I don't. 
so I'm gonna have to get that on here. Usually I have um, usually I have um, I you know I usually I have I'm pretty good about keeping track but lately I haven't been doing that so I need to um, yeah I need to um, also I gotta I've gotta I gotta remember my Facebook password <laughs> I can't remember my Facebook password to save my butt this morning so I've got to um, I'm probably gonna have to change the password again Okay, so, um, let's see, it is, um, so, started, when did I start that? I started Dark Corner on Wednesday, right? Yeah. Cause I finished the Born Defiant, so I started Dark Corner. <coughs> Excuse me, bless me. Mm. All right, now. Oh, excuse me. Just what I need. The sneezes this morning. All right. So now, um, all right. Okay. All right. So that's done. Because I, I always like to write my thoughts in that one. Uh, there's so much up here. My kid, I, I, I'm, I'm just as bad at it too. Bad for it too. But yeah, I, I put everything up here. <laughs> everything. All right. So now, stitching planner today is. So I did 1,320 stitches. So now, let's see. Um, trying to think. Um, I do know one thing I need to do. I need to start doing this. I used to do this and I forgot. Being as I use Pattern Keeper, you know, 90 99.9% um, .9 of the time I used to write down how many stitches and then the percentage so so I need to remember to do that Cause I've had a couple of people um, tell me privately that they like when I do that. So, and I, I haven't been doing that and I need to remember to do that. Okay, so what else have we got going on today? That's really it. Um, I was just gonna go ahead and start cause I have an hour and a half. I might just start. Um, yeah, okay, um, oh, yeah, 
I know what I wanted to tell you. There's a couple things I wanted to tell you before I forget it. Um, Sky, Sky, uh, school will be starting here soon in September. And um, in between now and then, we have a lot of stuff, um, you know, like orientation and all that stuff. He is doing virtual again, but it's normal school day from 745 until three something. And he's in the classroom through the computer like he would be there. So he's not missing anything. Um, so um, I've been trying to get everything situated. I've got to make a list of stuff that he's going to need. I haven't even gotten the um, list yet. But, and I don't know how that's going to work because he's, because he's doing it over the computer. And, um, the reason being is because I'm high risk. I, um, have a heart condition. Um, it's, you know, and I don't tell a lot of people that, but I do have a heart condition. Um, it's, you know, genetic. My parent, my mom, my dad has it. My grandmother had it. Um, and, uh, so, you know, I, um, so far I haven't had to worry about it, but the doctor has told me, you know, and his dad has, um, medical issues too. And, um, you know, I got a lot of flack for this, but, you know, I, I rather homeschool my kid, but, um, just because, I mean, you know, but, um, anyway, so to anybody that complains, he and I discussed it. He wants to, you know, he, you know, he agreed we're going to do it that way. So anyway, school will be starting here. So just bear with me between now and then. Um, I'm hoping things will be okay that I don't have to worry about um, changing my schedule or anything. My only thing is, is that it's going to have, I'm going to have to sit down after the first week of school and figure out what what times um, I can record and what times I can't because from anywhere from like seven in the morning to nine in the morning, it's crazy in the complex, kids screaming and whatever, going back and forth to school. And so just, um, you know, I'll keep you guys posted. It's the same thing after dismissal too. So hopefully during the day, I won't have that problem, but we'll see. Uh, so just bear with me if videos become sporadic between now and, um, you know, September. I'm hoping they don't. I doubt it. Um, but just because he's, you know, here and he's going to be here, I just have to get him a computer of his own to put in his room and we'll see. Um, but hopefully they'll, rec you know, give him, hopefully they will give him one. I'll find out. I'm waiting for emails to be sent to me. So we'll see. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, funny story okay we got a new collar for Athena yesterday <laughs> um I ordered it from Walmart so anyway the, the collar came in and we were trying to get it on her <laughs> she hates it <laughs> she hates it she can't stand it uh so I'm sitting here trying to get her to you know I'm we're trying to adjust it it's one of those adjustable things she refused so I was like, really? So you could tell she was getting pissed off. <laughs> so we're putting it on her and all of a sudden she just, and it wasn't even, I wasn't holding her. Little dude was holding her while she hissed at him. <laughs> so yeah, and of course, because it's adjustable, we adjusted it to the point where there was like so much of this, the collar that, yeah, it was, it was hanging out and she's steadily taking her paw, trying to eat it, trying to, I was like, oh my God, seriously, <laughs> but she had to be there cause it was hilarious. So I, um, I was like, oh dear God, this is going to be fun. So Miranda said when 
um, her boyfriend, John, gets here this weekend, she can get him to, you know, um, <laughs> to fix it because <laughs> it was awful. It was hilarious. And, uh, yeah, she's just been her little, you know, self lately. And um, <clears throat> she's, you know, hey, it's a cat. <laughs> And I haven't gone, gone so far like Shalene has to want to auction her off. No, she's she's been her special self. And, you know, it's, it's, it's all good. It's fine. It's whatever. So, okay. So, that's really um, it for me today. I don't have a whole lot to go to talk about today. But, um, yes. The Stitch With Me story video I will do on Tuesdays. And then on Thursdays, it will be Stitch With Me and music. I need to go find, um, there's a couple, there's a couple of sites I know of. I'm not sure, but I need to go and find one for, um, that I can put music on in the background and, um, you know, do that. So I have to go you know, researching and looking. So that's it for me. I'm going to go sit down, relax, drink some more coffee and get myself organized. Uh, bobbin, put a couple of um, things of floss on a couple of bobbins. I need to buy bobbins too. That was the other thing because I'm running out of bobbins. I need to get bobbins. And so the bobbins that I have, I will put what I have on it and because that floss is coming. My whole thing of CXC floss is coming soon. So, uh, other than that, that's all I got to share, guys. I know this is a longer video than necessary. So, um, I hope everybody has a good day. Oh, Danielle, I hope your sister made it through her surgery okay. And I'm still keeping her in my thoughts. Because you left yesterday before I could say anything. <laughs> so... Have a good day, guys. I will see everybody next time. Bye, everybody.